and welcome back to SciTai Tech. In this video, I want to do a teardown of this car dash cam. I want to see how it works, and I want to see if there's any parts worth salvaging. Let's get started. First, what I want to do is do what I always do. See a screw, take a screw, see a screw, take a screw, and remove all the screws that I can find. And there we go, the housing is now opened. This part of the housing is useless, and this part of the housing has a very tiny speaker. Pull that out carefully, and there, a very small speaker. Definitely can use that for a future project. Put that to the side. And now what I want to do is remove the circuit. Follow this ribbon cable. I think I'll leave it intact, and what I'm going to do is try to remove the camera that's inside of this part of the housing. Oh, it looks like it's held together by some kind of rubber band. So what I'm going to do is simply remove it, squeeze it apart, pull the rubber band off, and now open up the housing. And there, and as you can see, it reveals a small camera. This camera is very interesting. I like this camera and these little infrared LEDs. So what I'm going to do is simply remove it, remove the screws and detach it from the housing. Oh, this is very nice and very interesting. What I'm going to do is leave the ribbon cable in place, so that way I can connect it to a controller board. Now, if this device worked, I could have easily removed this lens and removed the IR cut filter and make a full spectrum car dash cam. That could have been very interesting to do. But I'm not going to do that this time, because I think I'm going to use this camera for something. Okay, so now let's go a little deeper. Ah, as you can see, I think I found part of the problem with this camera. This little connection that recharges the camera is broken. And you can see that it's desoldered, so what I need to do is resolder it in order to get this camera to work. And the batteries are probably not good, so I would have to replace those too. But I'm not interested in repairing this, so what I'm going to do is just simply remove all the screws and see if I can find any parts that are worth salvaging. And now let's go a little deeper. And you can see the reveal of the second camera. Remove these screws so that way I can detach the LCD. And there we go, the housing is now detached. Now I could pull off the ribbon cable, but I don't want to do that. I want to keep it intact. So what I'm going to do instead is simply cut the housing. And now I'll cut it and remove this part. And I'll remove the housing. The LCD is now free. Still attached to the ribbon cables. So that way I can be able to keep it together in case I need to. And the buttons are very interesting. I find this button in the center very interesting. I'm curious to see how it works. So what I want to do is open up the LCD temporarily just to see how that little button works. Remove the screws. And now carefully move the housing to the side. Oh, this looks very interesting. Now remove some more screws carefully. And here are the buttons. Oh, that's a very interesting looking button. Hmm, I could probably use that for something, but I'm going to keep it on the LCD for now. And this LCD is a very nice looking LCD. So what I'm going to do is put it back inside the housing and then use it for a future project. And there we go, the housing is put back together. And now let's go ahead and examine this board some more. This little LDR is very interesting. Probably allowing this camera to work in the dark so that way it can sense the darkness. And when it senses the darkness, the little infrared LEDs will turn on, allowing the dash cam to work in the dark. And a little microphone. And this part right here is attached to a ribbon cable that's attached to the camera. Of course, if I wanted to salvage our gold, usually that's a place to look. But for now, I'm going to keep everything intact. Because I may want to repair this or use it for something else. And you can see these little infrared LEDs are also very useful. But again, I'm going to keep it intact. And there you have it. Now you know what's inside of a little dash cam. 
And as you can see, I have all the parts that are still connected because I may salvage it or keep it as is and repair it. For now, I'm going to keep it intact so that way I don't lose any pieces. Thank you for watching SciTitec. I hope you learned something new and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and of course click on the bell icon to be notified of future SciTitec videos. Till the next tech, goodbye.